Hey Ali, guess what we get to do all day? Ride bikes! Awesome! Let's do it, we're leaving Boise, heading kind of east, but a little bit north first. All nourished and well rested from a rest day with Eric and Marissa. Thank you so much guys, we love you. And we're gonna go find some hot springs, right? Oh yeah, it's hot springs time. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're heading back up into the hills, which is an adjustment from the flats of the farmlands, but it's gonna be worth it because we hear there's hot springs up here. Lots and lots of hot springs. Woo! How do you like that? That's what you wanna see, the downward truck, five miles down a hill. Gravel grinding, gravel grinding, oh, back to the road. Gravel grinding, gravel grinding, gravel grinding, oh, road. So we just stopped off here in Horseshoe Bend at the small town and they have this really amazing rest stop. She says it's the best ice cream in the whole world. It's really good. How good is it? It's very good. It's a very big deal out here. The so, huckleberry only grows here in Idaho in Montana. So it's not like a very easily grown berry. So, and it has to grow in the wild too. And it's really, really difficult to pick. A lot of people do that and they can get a gallon of huckleberry and it's like 50 bucks. And you've been to those like strip mall places where you can add all the toppings. This is like homegrown toppings. Right <laughs> this needs a little bit more action right here. And the action is right here. I love trying new things when I'm on the road. I've never had huckleberry ice cream. I gotta say it's really tasty and it's fun knowing that it's from right around here, this area. And even though I spent my entire lunch budget on ice cream, I think it was a good choice. <laughs> we found another gravel road, and what I'm really loving is the versatility of this bicycle. Usually when I'm on bike tours, I avoid gravel roads because my bike's not tough enough. These ones are, and it, it opens up a whole new world of roads to you. That's the main thing about gravel bikes. It opens up a whole new world of roads, and a lot of times the roads go to very off the beaten path places, and sometimes they even take you where you don't want to go and you get lost and you have to have a farmer come save the day. But for the most part, loving the gravel. We went in with the goal of trying to find as many back roads as we could. And man, I am pleasantly surprised by how successful we've been at that. God, I'm just loving the quiet, the solitude and the peace we find out here too. It's 7 p.m. There's plenty of sunlight. Allie's got tater tots flowing through her veins. We're ready to go. Allie, you're wearing a bikini. That's right, because I'm at the beach. Spin around, woo! Beaches of Idaho. We're gonna jump in the river first and then go to the hot springs, which is just steps away. And now we walk a few steps and jump into the little pool of hot water. This is definitely the best way to recover after a long ride. Jump in the cold water and then let your muscles get all warmed up in the hot water. These hot springs are fun because they come complete with new friends. How's it going? There's almost a full moon behind us. This is pretty much the perfect situation. Well, I think uh, couples and families that play together stay together. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. And the more you do it, the better. How long have you been together? What's your story? 
29 years we've been married. When adventures get hard, we've run into this. Like, <laughs> how do you give each other space, or how do you get over the hard parts? Because you know, some days you're just like, you're annoying the hell out of me. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Try to make life light of yeah, it. Yeah, just ask the other person it. what they need at the moment. Yeah. You know, do you want me to leave you alone? Do you want me to give you some assistance? What do you want? My name is Dustin Smith. This is Lisa Smith, my lovely wife, my bride. I was very afraid of marriage. Um, all my life, I've only seen divorce, and and I never wanted to go through that. And so, when I started dating Lisa, all my buddies basically circled around me and said that they were going to beat the crap out of me if. I didn't commit. We don't necessarily share the same sports or interests, but we adapt to it, right? We're a team. We love to play together, just like the Sherman said earlier. We like, we have the same philosophy on life. We just want to enjoy it, right? Good morning. Hi. Whoa. What is this? This here is a gourmet breakfast crepe. It is Nutella and peanut butter and bananas, and it is for you. I'm so glad we came here. I mean, we could have easily gone east out of Boise, gotten across the state fast. Yeah. But instead, we came up to hot spring heaven. This is the right decision. Adds about 70 miles onto our route, but I think totally worth it. We've gone through one bottle of Cholula. This lasted us, I don't know, 500-ish miles? Thank you, Cholula, for spicing up our life. <laughs> Cholula, please give us money. No flatties, no whammies. No crashies. No crashies. Let's do it. I know that I keep on saying this, but I think this is my favorite stretch of road so far. We have the river off to the right, mountains in every direction. When I talk about life at 15 miles an hour, this right here is the perfect speed to experience life. Wind in your hair, sun on your face, you can hear the birds overhead, ah, pure bliss. Sort of on it. Matt, you've been married for 19 years. 19 years. This year. I've been with her for 23. I guess the only advice I have, would have for you guys is in 20 years when you're different, people remember you still love each other because your life will change and you will be different people. My wife and I talk about it all the time, but the thing is, we're happy and we can still laugh. And we recognize that life just changes. We just made a commitment to stay with each other. There can be something beautiful too, huh? I imagine about like yeah, you know, someone not being the same all the time. Well, she's so polar opposite of me that uh, I never know what's going on in her head, so she's always interesting. <laughs> and if I knew everything she was, she would be boring, and then we probably wouldn't like each other. And we are completely opposite people. I'm a devout Christian, she's an atheist. But we've raised two beautiful children. Was that hard in the beginning, being so different? Uh, maybe at first, yeah. She'll she'll probably tell you more than me. <laughs> it's the best part of being of life is being a father and a husband. Did you find that you like both changed a little bit to accommodate each other? Sure. We actually used to be multimillionaires at age twenty three. Wow. And we lost every dime. And we went through losing everything we owned. And we lived in a trailer for a year. And we look back on it and we don't, we remember it was hard and it was a struggle, but we don't remember being unhappy because we were committed to each other. Happiness is when you look at your children and you realize that they are better people than you. So do you have two? I have two daughters. I have an older sister, she's 18, she just graduated. My dad and my mom, because they've been together for so long, I've always looked up to them. And you can't 
set your life on a certain path, you can't say, I want to be like this and not change in any way. If you're willing, you have to be willing to change and so does your partner. You can't just stay on the certain path and give up. Change is normal and you'll never know what the Lord's gonna throw at you. And it always comes out of nowhere. You know, we have the headsets so we can talk to each other and you get out in the middle of the desert and there's nothing. And uh, so we'll talk and get some of them things out of the way that you're too busy at home to, you know, it just gets pushed off. That is such a special thing to have. I try and get like right around 20,000 miles a year on my motorcycle. I don't know how you guys do it on a bicycle. <laughs> That's just crazy. Yeah. I look at you guys, I always wave every time and we always make room for you guys. We always get over, we got hand signals we use, so. We appreciate that. That was a really cool experience. I mean, we just rolled up on our bikes and the motorcyclists started talking to us. And before you know it, that guy is just spilling his heart out. That was incredible. And it was yeah. like, I was like getting teary eyed behind the camera. It was so, it was just so genuine and real. I loved it. He was getting teary-eyed too. That was really beautiful to witness him being so raw and vulnerable with yeah. us. And in front of his daughter and his friend. And I have just um, really, it's really beautiful the camaraderie that I feel between us and the motorcyclists. Yeah, that's true. And it's not something that I expected to find yeah. out here. Now it is time for this All-American Chocolate Pie.